Thank you, Lord. <laughs> the choice is about three things. Real hunting. Going after the animal of your choosing with the weapon you love. Real adventure. From the mountains of Canada to the desert to Mexico. But most of all, it's about real people. Hunters with families, jobs, and dreams. Their skills will be put to the test. Every situation is different. Success or failure. It all comes down to the choice. That one's for you. Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Hey, That's welcome good. to this week's The Choice. Hey. It, yes. There's something living in the chair in here. Is there really? Yeah. I don't know, there's a nest in there. Here, let me see it. Might be something cool. <laughs> okay, so this week on The Choice, we are heading out with the Edwards ah! family. Oh, don't do that! <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this week. We're gonna go all over and hunt deer with the Edwards family. In the meantime, I'm gonna kick my husband in the head. This week's lucky logo is Thompson Center. Look for the logo. The best guns in the world. Check we'll out the new dimension. The the show. You're a turd. What well, scared you, didn't I? Scared me and Dan. Oh, he well, jumped suck sky you high. Up. Poor camera guy. <laughs> Don <laughs> was cool and calm and cool. He know. was. Let's just get on with the yes. show. Would you would you never do that? Let's again? try to cure the SWDs because the Edwards, they got it bad. Well, it's uh, November the 15th, and uh, we made it here to Nebraska, but we've got uh, cornfields, wheat fields, and alfalfa fields to hunt over, and it's just flat, got, you know, some wooded land too, so I'm real excited, so let's go. Wonder how many birds there. Wow. That's a lot of turkeys. It's a little weed this evening. And uh, I got my TC right here. And uh, hopefully we're going to want to stay here and watch all these fields here. Behind me, I got a cut corn field. And in front of me, I got an alfalfa field. And on the other side, there is a wheat field. So, uh, and I mean, I. whispering always do this but there, we, got still, we got deer all over us behind me this is so awesome okay let's go I can't wait to see him oh, it's 
Passing. Passing holes. Passing holes. Oh, look okay. Hey, hey, hey. Look at that. We've seen a lot of deer this evening. Here he is. Nice eight pointer. He ain't broke up a bit. Looks beautiful. He come running out with another buck. And uh, there was another smaller buck with him. And he was getting close to dark. And first time here, hunt on this land in Nebraska. And it's been beautiful. I've had a blast. And just a nice way to take a good buck home here. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. This is my first, first, first buck with my Vixen Hoyt Hellraiser on head. And look at this. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. Yep, he's a ten pointer. And this it's been very exciting. We weren't in our stand, but maybe five minutes. And, uh, wow. Boy, he's pretty. Uh, November 18th, and we just have got the stand. Uh, it's a stand that we just hung in here. Uh, so, a buddy of mine's got a stand in here. And he hadn't hunted it for a while, so we decided to come in here and try it. It hadn't been hunted for two or three weeks, so we're going to give it a try this evening and see what happens.
you lord you did it yes I made a good shot on him i knew i seen that trace for knock hit him i knew he wasn't gonna carry that spitfire very far and he is down right there we watched him go down well we just got down out of the stand we saw him go down up here so no cracking. Let's just go look at him. Well, you can't imagine how happy I am to be sitting here behind this great Kansas buck. I tell you, I was beginning to, it was coming down to the wire and I was beginning to think I wasn't going to take one home this week, but uh, he's got, I don't know, he's got a, he's a mainframe six by six with, uh, about four, four kickers, stickers coming off the bases. He's just a great deer, man. He's got green bark. He's been ripping a tree up just right here lately. I mean, it's green hanging in his bark and he's uh, right there. I couldn't be happier. I'm so tore up. It's my best buck ever with a bow. Well, it's December the third, and this evening I'm taking Taylor. She's 13, and uh, we're going to be hunting over a food plot this season, so. Then saw a few deer way off in the distance, so so uh, best of luck. Yeah. I hope we get him. Yeah, we're going to. That's how we do it right there. <laughs> Give me five, baby girl. Yes. <laughs> we looked at the footage and I think I shot him back. So we're just gonna leave here and get out of here and go home and come back in the morning and see if we can find him. All right, leave right there. Gotta, yeah, we gotta stay right on this trail till we find him. Well, it looks like you come right through here, Taylor. This open patch of woods here. Wow, he's bigger than I thought. I was worried about we wouldn't find him because I didn't put the best of shot on him, but he's my biggest buck I've ever killed, so I'm really happy with him. I don't know what happened. I was expecting to see him fall. Smoke just quieted everything now. Here's a spot of blood that we found last night.
Well, it's opening day of our late muzzleloader season here in Virginia. We're going to go back here and hunt over one of our food plots. It's the uh, food plot where Taylor killed her deer. Not been in there since she killed hers, so uh, I hope for a good one. I'm trying to talk myself into it here. I ain't sure that may be the eight pointer you got the sheds off of. He's not a nine, he just slid clean eight. But he's got some really nice brow tines. I hope I don't regret not pulling the trigger on him. We just had a really good eight point come down. It's well, we just shot a really great eight pointer. I, I don't know what happened. I was expecting to see him fall. The smoke just whited everything out. He jumped the fence down into the timber. Here's a spot of blood that we found last night. And we could see one on the other side of the fence right there. We're going to get across here and see if we can't find him. Man, he's not, not bleeding very much at all. Just drops right there he is wow that's him I couldn't be any happier that we found him he, he wasn't bleeding good but he was hit really good he's not come a hundred yards from where he jumped the fence down into the timber this is a buck that we know really well. We came in in the spring and found both of his sheds. He's just a beautiful Virginia eight point. He's put on a few inches since last year. I'm glad we found him. I just wasn't sure about the shot because of the smoke. We couldn't see where I hit him, but I put a better shot than I thought on him. And I couldn't be happier. Kim, you rocked. That was a beautiful buck with your Hoyt. Yeah, she loved fun. it. Hit him where it hoits, Kim. Girls rule. Just saying. Hey, this week's lucky logo. Yes, TC. So if you saw the TC logo, you need to log on to thechoicetv.com, click on the lucky logo button, fill out some information, and someone's going to win. a Thompson Center rifle. How cool is that? And a whole bunch of other great things oh, from yeah. our manufacturers. Oh, absolutely. It's pretty cool. Next week? Now, next week, we're doing it again. Manitoba Monsters up at Ooh, Ken Gangler's. Canadian Northern Subarctic Northern Manitoba. Canadian Subarctic. Yes, and Dr. Chris finally gave me the okay. To so go. at least I didn't miss another spring so, bear season. So we finally got him to go out in the woods, and so now maybe he'll finally be happy. Thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. Will you be happy? I don't know. Yes, because this is ready. Hunt. This is, look at it's right Are in you our. Happy? It's in a pinch point. I like it. You shouldn't step Let's down go. from the hill. You look really short.